This is Brent of the Brookbush Institute and in this video we're going to do the eccentric step down test which is possibly the only patellofemoral pain syndrome test I use on a regular basis. I'm going to have my friend Melissa come out. She's going to help me demonstrate. Now the reason I only use this test for patellofemoral pain syndrome is because essentially functional patterns, squats, step ups and lunges and this eccentric step down test are actually more reliable than all of the other special tests for patellofemoral pain syndrome. They either lack sensitivity or they lack specificity. It's just not a good look for special tests at the knee. So we can go right back to, okay, Melissa, you came in and you complained about left knee pain, right? All we really need to do as practitioners is find a concordant sign, something that provokes her symptoms. Why do we need that? because we're going to assess, address, and reassess. One of the things I use often is this eccentric step down test because it is so provocative. And any of you guys who have had some flared up knees, you get knee pain like I do, right? You know that stepping upstairs is okay. Stepping downstairs, especially slowly, can be really, really tough on days that your knees really, really hurt. So I'm going to have Melissa go ahead and step up and to kind of increase the reliability of this test, we want to make sure we do it the same way every time. I do find that 12 inch steps are a little mean. I know a lot of people who go straight for the plyo box, usually plyo, box, plyo boxes start at 12 inches. I would start maybe something more like this that's like 8 or 10 inches, right? We, we want to provoke knee pain. We don't want to like flare somebody up. The other thing I'm going to have Melissa do is put her hands on her hips and then I'm going to give her this cue. I want you, if, if we're testing the left side now, she's going to step forward with her right leg, right? So the knee that's left behind is the one we're testing. I want you to step down as slowly and smoothly as you can. How does that feel? That's, that's her pain. Yeah, that's the symptoms she was talking about when she came in. And that's perfect. Now we have a concordant sign. Especially an athlete like Melissa. Like, let's say she was having knee pain two miles into her runs. You know, she might squat and not have knee pain. Can you give me a squat? Just do an overhead squat. There we go. Cool. Does that hurt? Nope. Nope, she has no pain. Can you give me a lunge? Sure. How's that feel? At the leg? All right, that's fine. Uh, how about a step up? This one? Yep. That's okay. And you get this a lot with athletes. But again, this is why we came back to the eccentric step down test. Hands on your hips, step forward with your right leg. How does that feel? Pain. That's pain. Now you guys can see why this test keeps creeping its way back into my assessments. Because if I had done a squat with her and I did a bunch of therapeutic interventions and once again she's the type of person who's complaining about knee pain two miles, three miles into her workouts, how am I supposed to know if I did a good job? What, just wait for her to come back the next session and go, oh, I still hurt. We want something that will provoke her pain now that I can do some interventions and reassess right now. Right? So guys, give this a try eight or, or ten inch step, maybe you could even go lower, maybe have a six inch step ready. These type of steps come in really handy. Maybe not jump straight for the 12 inch box. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.